Good evening pub crawlers, uh, or whatever time of day you are watching this, it might not be evening where you are, it's certainly evening where we are though. We have made it out to the Derbyshire Villages on a Thursday night episode. Uh, welcome, thanks for watching the Thursday night episodes. It does mean we get to visit countryside and we get to go and see more beautiful pubs uh, and things like that without really rushing on a, on a weekday night. So we have made it to the village of Morley, uh, which is about 10 minutes outside of Belper. And our first stop off is going to be this beautiful looking vintage inn uh, called the Rose and Crown. The one thing that vintage inns do is they always buy absolutely stunningly beautiful buildings, and this is no exception. Um, they sort of spin you around. Holly on her phone as usual. Uh, and it's really bustling, really busy for, uh, for a Thursday and it's still quite early as well, it's not even 7 o'clock yet, so nice to see it's so busy. But yeah, vintage inns, I like vintage inns as a chain, they're pretty good. We do, we do really like vintage inns pubs to be honest, I know they're a chain and all that, but they're just, they, they always buy nice, beautiful buildings uh, and they're always nicely decked out, they're always busy as well. Uh, and that one's in a roaring trade. So two minutes further down the road into the village of... See, she does listen, it's called Horsley Woodhouse. Uh, I didn't think she would remember that or listen, but she did. So, well done, Holly. She's on her phone again, though, look. Messaging, making our puns. <laughs> you know, I was on the phone. Uh, yeah, two minutes down the road to Horsley Woodhouse and to the Sitwell Arms. And it does actually say Horsley Woodhouse on the sign, if I'd have noticed. Lovely village pubs out here by the looks of things, uh, and quite a few of them. So, I think we're going to do six tonight and then call it a day, but, you know. It's a lovely little village pub, bustling again. I'm going to spin you around so you go have a look at yeah. it. Business, but yeah, it's really busy again for a Thursday night. Uh, it's got another side, so it looks like it was maybe more of a dining side. But it's nice to see these village pubs, especially villages we've never heard of, be so busy on a Thursday night. It's good. So, still in the village of Horsley Woodhouse, and to the second pub in the village. It's quite a big village, actually, it's quite, uh, quite a lot of space on it. Uh, and we come to the Old Oak Inn, uh, which again, judging by the car park, looks pretty busy. Uh, another nice looking little village pub. This is like the epitome of rustic uh, charm, I think you'd say. It's definitely it's a well old pub. It's split into, from what I can see, there's a central sort of beer garden in the middle of it. Um, and just three old rooms. But just look at them spinning around for the old trinkets uh, and things like that. But yeah, it's a. Uh, it's got that smell. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean? It's got that, that sort of, yeah, the old musty pub smell. Um, so yeah, it's just a little bit of a trip back in time type pub. But um, yeah, really well kept, really nice, really friendly. Just uh, yeah, nice. But, like these villages are lovely. This is why I love doing like nights like this where we go to village pubs because they're they're beautiful. You know, the little tour of the other rooms in there because it's still in the. Uh, this is like this little gazebo. Uh, there's another room, another room out there. This place is beautiful. Yeah, it's actually four little rooms, um, and they're absolutely. This this obviously used to be a stable, you reckon? Holly, Holly the horse lover, horse whisperer, whatever you want to call her. That's got beautiful stained glass windows and stuff here as well. This obviously used to be a stables. So, anyway, we're going to just Horsley next, coaching horses, I think. And one thing that I also said in there as well before we left uh, is, is this handcrafted beers. They look to have a lot of their own sort of beers, their own products, and so maybe they, they brew their own stuff as well. Uh, into actually Horsley now, so not Horsley or Horsley, however you want to say it, Woodhouse. Uh, and we're at the Coach and Horses, and there's a big old A board here that says Real Ale Pub. Uh, so this is probably somewhere that camera people will be very familiar with. Looks lovely from the outside. Here we go. It's mega busy. So it's a real ale pub. So I have half a bass in here. Can't mean a real ale pub that does bass and not have half a bass. And it's good bass too. Uh, have a look around. Yeah, it's really busy again for a Thursday night. Bass on my lip. It's nice. So, uh, that bass was superb as well, but uh, that brings us up to another real ale free house called the King William. And we are in Milford, uh, which is just, uh, it's been about five minutes away from where we were. These are beautiful villages. This is on the way to Matlock and Belper. But yeah, we've got loads of these, these, we've got to leave sort of a load in the middle because there are just some lovely, lovely little villages. There's too many to get through on a Thursday night. So, uh, stop number five, King William in Milford. They are mega spoiled around this area with old, beautiful pubs and things they've got. Uh, there's a real over fire. Going down here, so Holly's plonked herself next to it, like you'd expect. Have a look around. Oh. What? Another barrel? What another beautiful old pub. Um, so this is number five, and then our last one will be the Holly Bush Inn that people have been suggesting to us in Makeney. Well, looking forward to it. It's been lovely so far. So it's been a, it's been it's been a pretty decent little tour so far. 
Can we just take a moment to look at this house behind? I don't think you can see it, but it looks like the house that Norman Bates and his mum live in, in Psycho. Uh, it, it's massive. But yeah, the uh, Hollybush Inn Maybe. on Hollybush Lane is the final stop of the night. Um, and it just looks exquisite from the outside. Um, so, yeah, final stop of the night. It never pays first, obviously. The last pub of the night, number six, is her round. And I've just found a, uh, look at this. Simon and a half of that. £5.50 a half. Ha <laughs> Around this little this. So that is your tower. <laughs> Thank you. Dangerous. It looks it's wonderful. Lovely, it looks absolutely <laughs> wonderful. I get a single crack with a Yeah. Uh, with diet Hey, buddy, wise. Don't worry, I'm not filming keep, you. Keep up the good work. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> Oh, what uh, an absolutely exquisite pub. Denny, this is Denny. He's going to be part of the YouTube video tomorrow. You know, thanks, buddy. What an absolutely incredible pub this is. I see why people said that we'd love it because we do. We absolutely love it. Honestly, that place is absolutely incredible. Uh, I think that might be one of my top 10 that we've been in on the pub crawl so far. Absolutely brilliant. I've managed to buy a big uh, Stilton pork pie, homemade, uh, a chili con carne sausage roll, and a homemade scotch egg to take home as well. So that's my midnight snacks sorted. But yeah, that place is incredible. Uh, we've had a lovely time in Derbyshire. Once again, thanks for watching. Please hit subscribe. Do watch some of the other videos if you can. Help us keep going. Help us keep growing. Uh, and we'll see you again tomorrow for Ripley.